this is Noreen from Joya Cards and this is the tutorial for my card class. So if you did purchase a card class and you got the Happy Father's Day card, this is how we're going to put it all together. So you are going to receive a baggie of all your die cuts. So just empty out your baggie. Now the only thing that you have to be careful of is the comma for Father's Day is in there. So leave it in there until you're ready to use it. Otherwise it'll disappear forever. So go ahead and take all your little things out of your bag and sort them out. You should have three trees, You've got two of the oars, a froggy, a big piece with all the little reeds on it, happy Father's Day, and two little pieces of cut of the reeds and two mounds, one with a little reed thingy on it and one without. So um, let's do the inside of the card first. So you also get your five and a half by four and a quarter card base. And then you get these two uh, pieces as well. One is gonna be Whisper White and then the other one is going to be um, Soft Suede. So let's go ahead and snail these on because this is the easiest part and go ahead and put it on. All right, the next one, as you notice, you have two cut pieces here. This is important that you grab this one with, I mean, they both have reeds, but the, you want the one that the reed is going to the right, not to the left. So this one goes on the front, the one that goes to the left, the one that goes to the right is on the inside. So go ahead and take your silicone craft sheet and your fine tip glue and if you notice, what I've done is this is actually two pieces and I cut off the top of the little reed and so the black shows through. So we're gonna go ahead and you never wanna snail inside your card with the, something that has a lot of space in it because it's going to um, adhere to the um, inside of the card. So go ahead and put this on right against the white. Okay. And actually, we should have put it on the tree first, but that's okay. Grab one of the trees and take the glue and give it a bunch of dots. This is definitely one you don't want a snail because it will, that snail has all kinds of little um, webbing that'll go through it and it will stick for sure, 100%. So let's take the tree and we wanna lift this piece up a little bit. This is why we should have put it on first and just tuck it under and put it on like that. Give it a second to set. And then we're gonna put this inside of the card. And just like so. Now, if you're watching this video and you didn't get the, the card kit, go ahead to joyacards.com and write me a comment and I will uh, get you a card kit. Now card kits, you get 10 cards total. You get five different designs, two cards a piece. So five different designs, two cards each, 10 cards. And they're all custom die cut. There's no stamping involved. And all these backgrounds I do for you. So all the specialized inking. Plus this card has um, designer inking on these mounds I've made. Um, an inking of that as well and there's a different video if you want to look through my card playlist and it'll be in there but every month i'll have more cards and you can always order from previous months you can pick any five designs of any card and anything i've got so that's a that's a card class and they last until they retire the the uh, dice so now what you'll also receive is this background here that i pre-inked like i said i did and what you need to do is kind of lay everything out. So let's go ahead and we need to do um, the trees first. So we're gonna line up the tree here and here. Kind of see where you're gonna put everything before you glue it all down. Put down your words, because those are definitely things that you need to make space for and leave that little comma in the bag until you're ready. And then the mounds. Now this mound here goes right by the day. And then this cut one that goes to the left 
it goes about right here and then this mound I put like I tucked the tree the bottoms of the tree under it and then this right here goes in the front now you you want to line up the right all the way to the edge of the card and cover up any of the transition between the green and the the blue so between the water and uh, the grass and then you're going to take the two oars and you want to crisscross them here so you want to take them and crisscross them and just take a little bit of glue and just glue them together however you want this is how I did it and this will go whoopsie you gotta wait for the glue to dry before you pick it up but that'll go right in front so we're gonna put that to the side and let it sit and then you've also got your little froggy which you're gonna put in at the very end so keep froggy and that apostrophe to the side so the first thing so we kind of know where everything's gonna go so kind of pull them off and I would definitely do um, Happy and Father's Day first, just so you know where everything is going. So take your fine tip glue. If you don't have any fine tip glue, if you go to the um, body of my video, there's a direct link to my Stampin' Up! site. And um, you can place an order for it. If you don't have one of these silicone craft sheets, oh my gosh, get one. If you do any kind of gluing for anything like scrapbooking or whatever, I, I can't live without this thing anymore because it's fantastic how it keeps my surface clean and everything kind of repels from it. And if you've got an order under $150, use my host code for May. If it's a different month, send me a, um, a note, a comment, um, and I'll get you whatever month um, host code you need. And... Then we're gonna do this. But orders $150 or more, don't use the host code because you'll get the rewards on it. But if it's under $150, use the host code. Okay, here's Fathers. I'm not gonna put on that comma until I am like done. It'll be like the last thing I put on here. And kind of keep it close to happy because there isn't too, too much room. Uh, put day to the side. Let's do the trees now. So like I said, the uh, card the online card classes which is what I'm doing here the card kits uh, I should do about every month so every month there'll be about mm, four or five more choices just kind of depending and you can pick the previous month's cards too so if you liked all the cards from this month and you only picked you know enough for five um, you can get a next month and you can still get those five so you're not like only getting the cards that somebody's you know decided you're gonna get this is total choice you can pick up you know anything that's current you know that has a die still sold i'll have it out because all of my retired stuff i sell and once you do a card club you are eligible for monthly drawings you get a birthday gift um i will have to start charging for shipping i was going to do free shipping but these are very labor intensive because I die cut everything for you so you don't have to do it. So here's that first tree and I want my first tree to be a little higher than my second tree. So I'm gonna put my second tree a little bit lower than the first and a little off to the side, I think. There we go. Now I'm going to put on the mound here so the, now this one doesn't have any reeds on it it's just a plain one this is the one that i made all these little mounds this green paper is all custom i really like the uh green paper from the lily pad ds but you only get two sheets per packet and it's like well that's not going to last me very long so and i wanted it to stand out from just my uh regular green and even the backgrounds here these are all custom these are like three different colors i did a video on it if you really want to know what that's all about just look at my card videos all right uh then i'm going to put on the one with the reed and i want to put it in a spot where i'm kind of covering up the ends of the trees so do this and you know another thing about this fine tip glue when it and because it is glue if it ever clogs it's not like 
a huge hassle to get it unclogged because the lid in it has the little um, needle and the way it goes in you put it in and then you screw it down so it goes even further and if it ever does like seize up on you a little bit all you have to do is stick that in there um, and break it loose a little bit and it'll come right out unlike some of the other glues which are really obnoxious to unclog I just gave up after a while and then the uh, last mound here is gonna have that reed going to the left and we're gonna put it like right here now that day is gonna be on there in fact let's put on day you might want to even do day first rather than that uh, last mound because you got to have enough room for it I just happen to know that it's there so I'm gonna put it off to the side a little bit that's okay no rules you can put it where you want and just hold that down because that you are going over that mound here all right now this piece which is also two pieces I cut because I put this part of the reed here on this side this is actually part of this that's why I wanted you to go and put that piece on the inside so we're gonna put this piece and this is gonna hang over so let's glue that up get the whole thing and if the reeds aren't exactly lined up it's actually kind of nice because you can see that black so it's totally cool now if you're missing any pieces of your kit which you shouldn't uh, just let me know and I'll I'll get it out for you but it's, they're all like triple check but I'm human so you know stuff happens so I've got this all glued up and I'm going to flip it over here and I'm going to go ahead and use my fingers rather than my tweezers move this out of the way and I'm going to line this up all the way to my right and leave that left hanging over now we want to cover up this transition to so put it like right there and there's enough going on you're not going to even notice it okay and hold that down good Okay, now let's turn over the card. See, I, I goofed on this side, so I just turned it over. And I'm gonna cut this off and cut this off and flip it over like that. That's cool. And now we're gonna take those oars that we glued together earlier. And I'm gonna actually use my snail. They can take it. Just make sure the webbing is all in okay and i'm going to create more distraction from that transition here and then the last little piece is mr frog here i love mr frog i'm going to snail him too but that all right and i'm kind of having him going out from one of the reeds here so he's just having a good old time right there he's jumping he's cool and then i'm going to take my card base and snail up this part instead of the back which I normally do but there's so much stuff here that I don't want to mess with anything and then just put it over like so and that is the card so if you like it uh, you go ahead and order one of my card kits if you don't have one already and this will be available forever you can even change the you can request to say something different if you want like happy something else or or if you just want happy day that always works too so anything you want to get going and I might or might not put the rest of the cards at the end of the video but uh, there you go bye